Viperland. This is Viper AS, the host of Viperland. And uh, today I'm going to be playing Space Pirates and Zombies, usually shortened to SPADS. The idea of this game drew me in really early. It's kind of like a sandboxy open world, but it's also kind of like the game Asteroids. It's really like a mixture of the two. And I believe I had a save file that already had some stuff. Yes, it loads a little bit, that's not too bad. This I skipped right past it, but there's actually a letter at the beginning of this game thanking you for purchasing the game, just because it was done by, I believe, one or two, just guys, just guys working on stuff. So it's pretty awesome. It's a very independent type of game. It's a very interesting type of game, I apparently have upgrade points. And, if I recall correctly, the... Where's the map? How do I hit the map? I just jettisoned something. It's been a while since I played this game. The buttons may escape me. Oh, there we go. F5 for system map. So you've got this huge system map of all different things. I guess some of these levels I can't go to. It's randomized every time you play the game, other than the tutorial area. You've got people you're friends with, people you're enemies with, uh, objectives. There's a civilian patrol over there. Things you can do. I can earn money there. What's this one? Traffic jam. Uh, da -da. This could be a good opportunity to take advantage of some civilian ships. I don't know. I'm going to warp there anyway. So in this game, you can actually build your own ships. You do upgrades. It does have RPG elements. So I'm being fired on already. I will focus on those after these things are hopefully dead. I do have missiles as well. So right-click fires, in this case, your secondary weapon, which happens to be missiles for me. And left-click is my primary, which is just these lasers. They do use energy. Ah, and when you blow stuff up, you gather materials, which let you make better stuff. Why do you tell you? Oh, the energy's around your mouse cursor. Those green, or bluish, greenish dashes, arrows, whatever you want to call them. Those are how much energy you have. Right clicking is not firing any missiles. Maybe I don't have any? I don't know. So let's go here real quick. Tactics, you can tell your secondary ships how to act. I don't really care. Hangar, you have your ship, and then you've got your kind of minion ships. They follow you around, they do stuff. You can customize what the ship looks like from a bunch of blueprints that you get. I would love to have stuff like that. You can equip different things in different spots. Uh, that would be the laser, that would be a different laser, a uh, tractor beam for picking up stuff, and the micro-missile. You can upgrade your reactors, engine shields. You can also do research into different things. I've got three points. I'm going to upgrade subsystems, I guess. Honestly, I'm not paying too much attention to this, so I'm probably just going to die. My cannons, because I use those. I've got one point left. It takes one point per level to level up, so to get to level two I actually need two points. I guess launchers for the last one, because I do have a launcher. And we got the system map, which we've seen before. I can't go to those right now, because I'm under attack. I could retreat from the tactics panel, as they were saying, but I'd rather go over here and try and blast these guys to bits. It's more fun that way. So you control based off of where your mouse cursor is pointed. you got the forward, back, back, left, right, the WASD keys. There is friendly fire, so you can very easily shoot your own people. You can blow up asteroids to sometimes get stuff. And I guess these, yeah, these are the enemies, they're shooting me. It's very easy to die in this game. I have blown up a lot. You tend to just go back to checkpoints, though. It's also a good idea to try and conserve some more power than I am. I'm just blasting lasers every time I can. And hopefully live. That's a hope. Ah, my missiles aren't working at all. Totally bad luck. I think I've gotten his shields down. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, my shields are down too. I'm probably gonna die. That's alright. Whatever. Got low power, got low shields, and I am out of missiles. Oh, there's a warp beam, perhaps? He's trying to retreat. He's trying to retreat. No, I think not. Ah, damn it. Alright, well, got nothing from him, but he's gone, and my shields are back up. So that's better than I could usually expect. 
Let's try for this guy up here. The the way they do the radar in this game is the way that a lot of games like these do them. It's just the you got flashing arrows off screen. They kind of let you know which direction to go, but it works out. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Those are my shields. Those are the enemy shields. Again, it's been a while. Come on. I gotta admit, I actually got this game because it was one of the Steam Holiday Achievement games one year. Where you had to, if you did something in particular, oh, I blew it up. Nice. If you did something in particular, oh, gotta, gotta back away. Let shields regenerate. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Yep, I died. If you did certain things, Santa actually flew by and dropped presents for you, and you got to pick those up. Let's rebuild these ships. Let's probably take materials, but yeah, I don't remember. Let's try a different system. That hurt quite a bit. The solar system. That sounds familiar. It's almost like our system. We can bribe people, apparently. Alright, and there are our ships. Gonna look around here a little bit. People may have noticed that the this video has my bottom bar and whatnot. Unfortunately, that's unavoidable with this game. It doesn't have a full screen window. To it. And my capture device will not capture, uh, I think this is the wrong area, will not capture things that are just regularly full screen without a bit of finesse, which I haven't done. Let's try there. So, oh darn, you can see that I'm running this game and Skype is closed and broadcast software and Steam. Yeah, not too fancy at all. So, hopefully, you can deal with that. And if you can't, well, then you're going to have to, really. I guess you can stop watching the videos, and I'd hope you wouldn't do that just because I have a bar at the bottom. But if you do, then adios. So right now we need to free Carl's ship from the rock. I don't know where the rock is, or why Carl is stuck there, or why I'm dying so badly. Well, I know why I'm dying so badly, because I'm not very good at this game, but I do wish I wasn't dying so badly. Uh, 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 got him. Nice. We picked up some stuff, I'm not sure. I uh, really am not. You can, in different areas of this game, go mining. There's asteroid belts that are just there for you to get more materials. There's a currency of the game. There's ships where you can buy stuff from scattered about along the map. Clearly I'm picking up stuff from these ships. So there's really a lot of randomization and a lot of depth to this game. Though it looks like just flying around shooting things, and that does have a large portion to do with it, but it's not the entire game. Come on, I want that bit of ore. I need the ore. Oh, is my cargo? Yeah, cargo's full. Alright. Uh, to dump your cargo, you head back to your mothership, I believe. Oh, that's a big ship. No, that's a. That's the rock I need to free Carl's ship from. So I guess I just shoot it until it goes away. Oh. Well. Yes. I guess that's storyline bit. Oh, for those who watch different online videos, the introduction to this game, like the storyline introduction when you start a new game, is actually voiced by Total Biscuit, who has been one of my personal favorite guys doing online videos for a long time. I've watched and listened to him since the Warcraft uh, Warcraft Radio days. He's always been a definitely a personal favorite. Seems a really awesome guy. Push F1 to track next, next objective. Fine, I don't care. Let's go back to... Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's the overall map with the levels and whatnot. I've just been looking at this tiny little area. So let's go back home, drop off the cargo, head back out to other stuff. Yes, please drop off your cargo. I don't remember how to do that. I thought just going here did it. And maybe it does. All right, I'm going to say I did, perhaps. If not, I just jet jettisoned it. So either way, whatever works. I'm gonna head to an actual place now. That place seems hostile. Du -du 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 -du. All of these requests do expire after a time. It'll say at the bottom, like this one expires in two jumps. I get a res reward of 145, data reward of 150, and I improve my relationships with the UTA, who I'm already friendly with. Civilians don't like me at all. They hate me, actually. Probably because I keep blowing them up. That's okay. 
That'll be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So there's an enemy down here, and then I've got an escort to rendezvous with. But first, I want to blow up this thing, so it doesn't catch me in the middle of that. So I'm sure it will. Come on, die. Just about dead. Good. You can see them jettison their people. I think you can go find those canisters. And, like, rescue them, if I recall correctly. So we've got my people over on the right and the bottom right, so this should be the way I need to go. There's probably a boost. You can definitely build faster ships. I just, uh, this is the one I have, so... Oh, I can zoom out then. Rendezvous! Bring escort to its cargo, which would be up here, where all the enemies are, of course. I'm gonna zoom out a bit, just because it gives me a better field view. Until that happens. You don't turn very quickly in this game. At all. Again, perhaps different ships do, but this ship! This is just one of the earlier ships you get. It's not the basic starter one, but it, it's pretty close to it. Ah, we blew them up. Good. Escort has regenerating health, as it shows in the bottom right. Very useful. Kinda enjoy that. Oh, it would help if I did not launch a missile directly at him. And if we weren't being attacked from behind now. Uh, escort missions have never been my favorite missions. At all. But, they happen, and I should stop shooting my own ship. Again, the lasers are just lasers. It doesn't matter who's firing them, they hurt everything equally. So if I shoot that big ship that I'm guarding, it's gonna take damage, because I'm shooting it with lasers. They don't just phase through like they do in a lot of games. So definitely be careful of that. Definitely something to watch out for. And the control scheme really does take a little getting used to, because left and right are based on which direction you're facing with the mouse at the time, not just a standard, like, up, down, left, right thing. It's, if I hold left now, I move over to the right-hand side of the screen, because I'm facing the bottom. So it can be a little weird to get used to. Not bad, and definitely worth it in my opinion. It's a damn good game. Very random, very open world, and I believe they're opening it up for modding very shortly. If they haven't already, I believe they have plans for that. And I should just stop trying to use the missiles now. That's just failed every time. I've hit my ships with it. Because I have my missiles set to the back of my ship, so they come out, they turn around, and they shoot forward. The problem is, my ships like to be behind me. Oh, that's a friendly ship. I shouldn't shoot that. Oops. I guess my UTA relationship decreased. Drat. Don't really care. Alright, I'm gonna try and just power through this. If that guy doesn't... Ah, uh, he turns around. <sighs> I... Your missiles won't hit yourself, thankfully. They will hit any other ship you have, but they will pass through you. I could probably mount that on the front of the ship, but... I want missiles on the front of the ship. Uh, I want lasers on the front of the ship. I don't really need rear-facing lasers. I imagine they'd work in a pinch, but... Eh. I want to shoot things ahead of me. That's how these things work. Usually. Come on, don't turn around. Please don't turn around. I just want to make it to the goal, which is a long way away. As long as that guy's not getting damaged too bad, I might be able to make it. I'm using my other guys as kind of decoys. How far away is this? You can't really tell. It's kind of hard to tell when everything's like relative like this. But I am going full speed ahead. It's not a huge amount of speed, but I'm definitely going. Ah, my little minions are blowing up the other ships, which is very nice. I've leveled up. Cool. I've cloned a goon. I don't know exactly what that means. I've got more upgrade points, so I can do that once I get to the escort. Come on. This is just a really long escort mission. I was kind of hoping for something a little more interesting for this stuff. I should have known escort missions weren't going to be that. Alright, so while I'm messing around here, you can hit F to cycle- Ah, oh, there we go! There we go! You can hit F to cycle through the targets that show up on your right-hand side. Ah, oh, my damn ship I need to protect got distracted. Don't die, please. I came this far. Please don't die. Alright, he's got his stuff. And now he's booking it, which is good. He's gonna warp away, and I've completed my mission. Huzzah! 
I guess I can book it now too, once I do an upgrade. I want to upgrade my cannons again, because I have enough points for that. Uh, damage strength, max range, max speed. They're not huge numbers, but they all help. And I can level up cloaking, I guess. I don't think I have a cloaking device, but now I've leveled up. And now let's try a show. Oh, that's left over from the Christmas event. I have a little helper. Not too bad. Uh, he's rookie, he gives shield strength and beam range. Not shabby. Let's change the ship up a bit. I want to make it that ship. And I want... Standard reactor is more powerful. Yes. Shield, do I have a better one here? No. Use a lot of power, so I'll leave that shield. And engine, well I got one. Armor plates. You acquire research level 2 and armor to use this component. Alright, so I might do that at some point. And all of these tractor beams, single mount turret. I will leave that, most definitely. Alright, so let's refit the ship. And I believe it takes some time to do that. So while it's doing that... Oh, I guess I still look like a regular ship till it's done. Alright, let's go to a new system. Let's try... Not an escort. Eliminate UTA patrol, but I don't want to attack my friends. Ah, huh, this doesn't make me lose UTA relations, but it does give me civilian relations. So let's try that. Why is my ship not... Refit. Come on. Takes time to arrive, so space is one exit the hangar view and wait. Alright, well it'll take a little while. While it's doing that, I can actually... Alright, come on. 20%? I think I can swap between units, but I guess not. Thought I could. I really should have come into this a little more prepared, but whatever. And I believe it's been almost, if not more than 15 minutes. So I'm going to show this ship a little bit real quick, and then move on to one of my other games, because this evening... I don't have guns? Oh, I have turrets, but I don't have lasers? That's unfortunate. Yeah, I like lasers. Alright, so... This ship may not have been the greatest of ideas. I might just use this as a secondary ship, so I've got it following me instead of me actively doing it. This has been Space Pirates and Zombies. Hope you've enjoyed, even though the majority of it was a escort mission. The game itself is actually really awesome. You should check it out. It's usually on Steam. I think it's like 15 to $20. It goes on sale quite frequently, however, every time they have like a big sale. Check it out. Give it a shot. It's very random, very open world, very sandboxy. You do whatever you want. There's a lot of customization, and it's awesome. This has been Viperlands for Viperland Stream. Thank you for watching. Check out my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Stream, and email me at viperlandstream at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.